everyone, it's Sarah here and today I'll be talking about the guidelines for addressing the hourglass figure. If you haven't already done so and you don't know your body shape or how to take your body measurements, I've created a video and I will link it below so that you can go check that out and then go to the appropriate video for you. Just a quick reminder of what the hourglass shape is. Once you've done your body measurements, you will be looking at the three measurements of the shoulders, the waist and the hips. If you're looking at your shoulder measurements and your hip measurements, they are going to be pretty much the same width. There might be a small difference of about 5%. The big difference here is a defined waist. Now your waist measurement is going to be around 25% smaller than your hip and shoulder measurements. So this will effectively give us an hourglass shape that goes from here into the center and out again. So the hourglass figure is a really easy figure to dress well. You already have well-balanced proportions. The trick is to dress yourself so that you maintain the hourglass shape. In terms of celebrities that we can relate to for the hourglass shape, we're thinking of the likes of Scarlett Johansson, uh, Dita Von Tees and Sofia Vergara. They all have the hourglass shape. So for the hourglass shape, in terms of trousers, we're looking at something that has a mid-rise. Something that's high-rise is going to exaggerate the size of the bum. So just keep in mind that if that is what you want to do, then go high-rise. But a mid-rise generally will be most flattering on this figure. For the leg, we're looking at a straight leg or a boot cut leg and as well the hourglass figure can get away with a skinny leg as well as long as they don't swamp the upper half of the body with um, a, a flowy top for example. This is going to create uh, more of an apple shape. For skirts, A-line skirts look great on the hourglass figure so something that goes in at the waist and then skims the hip and gently goes out. You don't want anything that's going to be too voluminous and um, create a far bigger bottom half than the top half. So we're always thinking how to create balance or how to maintain balance in this case. So if you have a skirt that goes out, you would like to balance it with a top that maybe has a wide neckline or horizontal stripes. A wrap dress looks great on most figures and it, there is no difference for the hourglass shape. So really when we're talking about clothes for the hourglass shape, we are generally thinking of things that are fitted, especially around the waist area. You can get away with so much in terms of patterns and design here with clothes. Just always remembering to balance out the bottom half and the top half so that you maintain your shape. The same goes for coats. If you're thinking about jackets, a little cropped jacket is going to be great because that is going to stop just at your waist, your smallest point. It will highlight this part of your figure. But if you want to go for a longer coat, something with a belt in the middle is going to be great. If you don't want to add too much volume to the body, go for a single breasted coat rather than a double breasted coat. And of course, a nice tailored shape to it will fit you perfectly. With the hourglass shape, it's almost easier to mention what to avoid rather than what to wear because you can get away with so much. As I said, we want to maintain this hourglass figure. So think about loose, flowy tops, boxy styles, stiff fabrics. These are all going to take away from the curvy, of the hourglass shape. So these are best avoided. Something to avoid when you're choosing something like this, if you are an hourglass shape, if you can imagine choosing a halter neck top, which is going to slim the shoulders, and then choosing something with a very full skirt. So by doing this, you're creating more of a triangle shape or a pear shape. So it's always important to remember what will maintain my shape. If I'm creating width on the bottom, I want to create width on the top, always tying in at the center of the waist. In terms of jeans and skirts, you might find that with the hourglass shape, similar to the pear shape or the triangle shape, 
you might find that you will need to get your jeans tailored to fit you. So you might find that you go up a size to accommodate the curves of the bum and the hips. And then you're left with this like gaping back. And so belts are gonna be really important in terms of accessories for this shape to pull in that. Now there shouldn't be any gathering around the top of the jeans. If there's gathering, you're best off uh, trying a different style of jeans or getting them tailored so that there's not uh, that gathering and the belt sits comfortably around the waist. You're gonna have a great selection of belts in your closet if you're an hourglass shape. 